Eclipses have shown up in cultural stories for millennia. In olden days, you know, people would make up myths and they used deities to explain this natural phenomenon. There's kind of this natural ingrained wonder. The eclipse itself is this bizarre moment when in the middle of the day, the sun just goes dark and it's sort of awe-inspiring. It's been almost 100 years since we had an eclipse go coast to coast. If you can get into that thin, narrow zone of totality, you will see day become night and the moon completely block the sun. Less than 10 minutes to totality. Okay, okay it should come now. Here, here it comes. It should come. And then, bam. So Mega Movie is a fantastic project encouraging photographers to just use whatever camera equipment they hopefully already have, balancing that against what you need to take scientifically valuable pictures of the sun's atmosphere. If we can get enough images, we actually do get this movie that moves over time. It's something we've never seen before. This is probably going to be one of the most photographed astronomical events ever. Anyway, what would it look like if we turned that energy into a scientific endeavor? It's just going to be so amazing to have people provide these photos of this rare event across a continent and then for it to go back out to the people. You get this perspective that you can't get from a point on Earth. At any given spot on the planet, totality lasts for a brief moment, a few minutes. In this case, at most, two minutes and 40 seconds. And you can see the sun's atmosphere that people have only really gotten a continuous few minute look at for a full hour and a half. Some will be focused more on the outer corona. Some will have the inner corona better exposed. The inner corona is an area that is very poorly understood. The only time that you get a chance to really observe it is during a total solar eclipse from the surface of the Earth. So this work's important because things like solar winds and solar storms and things like that are all elements of what's going on inside the sort of sun and the corona. And so by studying this, the, the goal is to sort of gain a deeper understanding there. I mean, the sun is, you know, critically important for everything that goes on here at Earth. Without it, we're uh, kind of hosed. The outreach side is really important because it's an opportunity to sort of connect people with the sort of science of the world around them. A lot of people in the country weren't even born the last time this happened in the United States, which makes this extremely special. They never had the opportunity to see a total solar eclipse in the United States in their lifetime. And this one is special because it passes all the way from Oregon all the way across the country to South Carolina. The only landmass that the totality touches is the United States this time. So here's the Eclipse Mega Movie app, which will be I'll be using my cell phone tomorrow, and it, uh, it's using my cell phone GPS so it knows exactly where I am. So it says, hey, yes, I'm in the path of totality. That's good right there. So it's going to give you the countdown, and it, once it does that, it's going to take pictures automatically. We have all these photographers who have signed on who are now learning about astronomy. So they've never kind of taken their cameras and pointed up to the sky before. And then we have all these space scientists, but they've never done photography. This eclipse is also gonna be sort of a, a generational event. It's, you know, this moment in time when the entire US can look up and experience this. Here we are from all over the country with different worldviews, different politics, and it doesn't matter because we are here to work together towards this one common goal, and it's so exciting. It's a crazy idea, but it's do like it is possible. So I personally am going to be in Dubois, Wyoming, with um, a bunch of other members of the team. It's this tiny little cowboy town, uh, about an hour and a half outside of Jackson. There's not even a stop sign really in town. We're in Du Bois, we made it. I was about eight hours in the car, but uh, we made it. Hanging out and playing horseshoes, and settling in and resting after the long trip. It's a very exciting town and a very beautiful town. We have a lot of wild animals. We have sheep and moose and 
and bear. We are a little worried about the bears. I lived in Alaska, so I'm very used to bears. We've got some bear spray and some bear bells. We still have that Old West mentality of everybody's welcome at the campfire. Google Du Bois is opening up for one weekend only. Du Bois Eclipse 2017, Du Bois, Wyoming, welcome. It's a one in a lifetime event. <laughs> it should be fantastic. What could go wrong? There's a lot that could go wrong. Weather is a huge concern for an event like this. You know, those little puffy white things that we don't want to talk about. If it's cloudy, you're out of luck. You might see it get a little darker, but you sort of miss the sort of true show of a total solar eclipse. We'll probably be very excited, you know, just experiencing the eclipse out there in Wyoming. Of course, the team here in the bunker, as we call it, will be busy tracking the dashboards and seeing how the data's flowing in, making sure that there are no red flags. In the case of the eclipse, this deadline's been written in the stars. Right. I'm going to be managing the computer programs that run the assembly process. I'm mainly sitting there and making sure that there are any bugs that we didn't expect. There could be any number of problems such as a network fiber cut, or servers could crash, or even an entire data center could crash. A person took a picture upside down, a bad photo cropped in, a person uploaded a picture of a dog. I think there's a little panic. I mean, I feel a little panic, but I don't know why. I think it's just, we've, we've spent so many years planning for this, so what's going to happen? Are we all going to, I'm just, yeah, it's exciting and a little panicky. <laughs> People have talked about leaving it as early as six in the morning to try and beat the crowds. Uh, it's a pretty big area, but we think it's where most people in Dubois are going to go. If the weather report suddenly says full clouds, then we'll, we'll, we'll reevaluate. We'll re but but if, it's, sure. if it's like it was today where it's scattered clouds, I think we'll go up anyway. Um, and just sort of hope that it's clear. Six a.m. Like, <laughs> it's the day of the eclipse. No, I know. The total I see what you're saying, Laura. You have a very good was point. Yeah. I was nine years old the last time. <laughs> Come on. You're very valid point. Cool. Uh, yay! Yay! Uh, uh, snacks, more makings, beer, whiskey is all in the cabin. Let's go. <laughs> six years. It's been six years and it's here today. What a beautiful day and awesome people to be around. We made it! Not too many people up here yet. We're part of the early crowd. I'm not particularly worried, you know, we've kind of run through a lot, most of the most uh, um, scenarios where something could go wrong and, and we've prepared for them. All right, so we're in between first contact and second contact. And the countdown is for the minutes to totality. Is that cool or what? Uh, we're, we're hoping, we're racing the marine layer. It's still overcast here. All right, talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Yeah, as our team members out in Wyoming, they have uh, no data service. They only have voice. Uh, they apparently just have first contact with the eclipse happening now. A few of our engineers are back in Mountain View sort of making sure that everything's working So, so today. the people who wrote the code aren't here? Uh, so we've, we've, got one, we've got one guy who's on the team that, that wrote a bunch of the code that's, that's here, but then the other ones, yeah, they're, they're back at home making sure that it all works, which <laughs> no, <fun. laughs> I know. A lot of the images get rejected because they don't have a latitude, longitude, and date time. That might be what's screwing us up. You're resizing to put the sun in the middle, and then you're resizing again to make it the size you want. So wait, yeah. you're saying that now I finally need this down at the bottom? Okay, I, I can't work if you guys are just standing there with cameras constantly. Yeah, you guys need to get out for a while. It That's should all so just true. work fine and they shouldn't have to do anything today, but just in case, they're, they're there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
One minute, oh, five a, seconds. Like yeah, look, you can start to see the horizon effect. Wow. Okay, it should come now. Here, here it comes. It should come. Look at the horizon. Oh, look at the oh, Twilight. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Here comes the shadow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> sh! Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. 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 Oh, wow. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, glasses off. Unbelievable. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That, was unbelievable. that was unbelievable. That was so cool. Just the, like, the darkness all around, the stars coming out. I could see the, the red from the chromosphere, from the hydrogen, right there. Corona comes out. It's wow. incredible. That was out of control. Wow. No, I want more! <laughs> Come I back! Want more. Quick to South Carolina. <gasps> oh, the shadow's leaving us. Come back! It looks so dark over Come there. Come back! <laughs> Isn't that insane? It's insane! Yes, I got to interlace. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't, the shadow coming. <laughs> it's a little hard to talk about it. There's a lot of adrenaline pumping. Yeah. I know, I know, I'm still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It was way more striking than I anticipated. Yeah, that was, that was unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, look at that! <laughs> incredible. Just incredible. Wow, fantastic. Your but, photos, I mean, they, wow. Yeah, it turned out perfect. They so. did turn yeah. out perfect. I'm really perfect. excited to see this movie once it's made. Me too. Get those uploaded, we gotta go, get those uploaded. Yeah, back to the hotel, let's yeah. go. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. I cannot believe what luck I know. we I know. have had. It's kind of crazy it's over. Yeah, I'm really sad about that. I'm gonna cry <laughs> a lot, I think. So the next step, for us is hopefully hanging out and watching the pictures roll in and maybe chatting a little bit with the folks in Mountain View. We're good, we pushed it live. I think it's time to, to celebrate. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> Well, 1.4 for the. So these are the people who came here. Yeah. Say it again. 11.3 thousand. <laughs> <000. laughs> Did you cry? I totally yes. cried. <laughs> I screamed and cried. <laughs> this is so cool. I know. I hope that we make some discoveries about the sun that we haven't known before. I hope that it inspires people to be connected to the world around them or even to deepen that connection that they already had. Hey, Yo, we got a video. Yeah, great work getting everything aligned and sized. All credit goes to Uriah, who at the very last moment figured out how to resize images properly. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. It, oh, it's the done. video's ready. All right. We are on YouTube. All right. Here we go. It reminds you of how precious life is, that we're on this planet, and this is a precious place we're on, <laughs> right? And when the sun just disappears, suddenly you, you realize that.